This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, this is Alex Bennett, and this of course is The Ramble, and we'll be here until midnight tonight, and uh, welcome to our um, Wednesday edition, our first show of the week, we do three days a week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, 10.30 Eastern Daylight Time. And uh, we talk to a lot of different people, and uh, we hold things called citizen panels. And one of the people we bring on uh, every now and then is, uh, it, well, once a week at least, is our old friend. Uh, oh, there he is. I think he's out in the, out in the boonies somewhere. You took that out where you were this week, right? I took it on the way home. You uh, took it on the way home. Yeah. It was just an iPhone photo. Uh, I found an area. Uh, I got out of the car. Uh, there was some. There was some interesting stuff, but uh, uh, I hadn't transferred it and, and worked on the pictures, the sky, and those things. This is just the basic photo. Oh, okay. So, it's the basic photo. Basic photo. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it it, uh, it gives you an idea of of what Death Valley is like. Uh, was that and, Death Valley? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, this was uh, just outside of Furnace Creek, and mm -hmm. I guess Furnace Creek is uh, the uh, it's one of the hottest places in in summer mm -hmm. uh, in in the world. And uh, oh, really? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. it gets up to 130, 135 degrees there. Yeah, that's uh, about uh, that's a that's a weekend in uh, let's see here in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, really. You know, <laughs> or uh, you know, I can, I never could figure out how our troops. We're even in uh, Iraq or uh, in Iraq because yeah. it was so damn hot and they have to wear all that gear as well. How they ever managed to do that. And uh, during the first uh, Iraqi war, they were afraid Saddam Hussein was going to use uh, chemical weapons and they were wearing chemical suits in that kind of heat. It's just unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, Another one of those myths that never came true. Well, uh, no. Well, he did use chemical weapons on his own people. Uh, there's some question about that. Yeah. Yeah. But well, you'll uh, you'll believe anything that's on Fox. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, that, that's true. It's mm. just that uh, it, it he got bombed uh, yeah. by Trump uh, in in one chemical attack. He he bombed the uh, the uh, in area that uh, the chemical weapons were launched from. By Trump? Yes. What? Uh, this is in this. This is in the last uh, 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 deal uh, where he bombed. What do you mean the last know? deal? We haven't. Uh, we haven't been fighting oh, okay. in Iraq. Wait a minute. We haven't been no, fighting. No, well, Trump bombed them everybody. Too. Get your drinks out. Yeah. Oh well. Aren't you going to mention uh, uh, the the drink you had the other day? Oh yeah. Well, I mean, you were right about something, you know. But you're a something. stop. You're a stop oh, clock. Okay. You know, you're right twice a day, so. Well, let's see. What what was I right about? I, uh, uh, oh, I, uh, it, it probably wasn't a very important thing. It wasn't important. No. Yeah. Uh, but whatever it was, I was right. <laughs> well, so, anyway, anyway. So how, how did it go down in Pahrump? Uh, I, I had a good time. It's a nine-hour drive. It's the only guy who could have a good time with guns. Okay. Anyway, go yeah. ahead. Yeah. Uh, it, you know, between the drive, uh, I stayed at Alan's recommendation. I stayed at a Best Western. Mm -hmm. Well, let me tell you, this is a motel, and it hadn't been uh, refurbished or the carpets hadn't been cleaned since 1958. Mm -hmm. uh, this was, uh, I, I'll never stay there again. And, I and never, the by the way, end. ever listen to recommendations yeah. from Alan. From Alan. Yeah. Right. I thought the Holiday Inn was very basic. You know, it was it was okay. It was, uh, you know, but I, I said, oh, well, Best Western. Look at the lobby. So nice. Well, we pulled up, and we get our keys, and... and we, 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 who's, who's we? 
uh, well, my friend Doug and I. Oh, okay. Uh, so uh, uh, he, uh, he's a he's a buddy that I've known out of uh, mm -hmm. thirty some odd years. Yeah. He was in the carpet business. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, so you know, we we pull up to the room, mm -hmm. and it's a motel. You know, uh, two story with uh, you know doors that face out. Uh, no hallways, no elevator, no nothing. Wow. And you know, you go into the room and you know, beds are sagging and the furniture's all beat up and the carpet kind of looked dirty. And then I, I looked at the comforter and I, I saw spots on the comforter and I said, uh, You didn't want to take a black light to that room. No, I did not. <laughs> uh, although I thought about bringing my black light, I have one. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I. I, I just I just thought it was going to be really well. Nice. Why didn't you just was there what what other hotel was there in Pahrump? Well, there's the Holiday Inn Express, and okay. uh, then someone told us in the class about this uh, Wine Ridge, and what it is is a bunch of one bedroom cottages, and uh, in, in an RV park. And so I looked at it uh, on online, and I said, you know. I'd stay there. These cottages were really nice. They, mm -hmm. uh, they had kitchens. They uh, had a deck. It was it was very pleasant. But mm -hmm. uh, I, one thing I don't know if you can see this, but I got raccoon eyes. You see, I've been going to Trump's. Yeah. That? yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it was uh, it was very cold in the mornings, uh, and then it was very warm in the afternoons. Mm -hmm. And so the, the class starts, you got to get there about 7.30 in the morning, mm -hmm. and it goes till 5 o'clock at night. And tell them how modern a city Pahrump is. Well, it's, it, it's, it's like maybe it, when it grows up, it'll be like Reno, <laughs> you know? It, it's, uh, it's got a bunch of casinos. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got a bunch of tacky advertising, advertising casinos. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it's got gas stations fast food mm -hmm. uh and and that's and that's about it other than this uh shooting institute right right uh and it's about 60 miles or so outside now, who, of Las who was Vegas. that guy who used to do the all night show um art bell art bell used to live in pahrump he used yeah. to do a show from pahrump yeah well uh, that's not a, that's not living you know it, i everywhere you go you run uh, i saw when we went to breakfast at the best western mm -hmm. uh they uh i hear some guy screaming in, in near the, the the lobby of the breakfast area mm -hmm. so I, I i took a look and i thought maybe he was choking or there was uh, you know something going on mm -hmm. but uh so as i I was going to go to the front desk and say, you better call the police. I think there's a medical emergency. And as I'm walking by, there was the cop taking the guy into custody. I guess he was trying to break into the change machine. <laughs> then uh, we're getting gas, and there's some guy that was like straight out of the Matrix. He had one of these long coats all the way down, except uh, it looked like he'd been on methamphetamine for about two years you know how they look with mm -hmm. no teeth and mm -hmm. uh, you know really skinny and uh, gaunt and dirty hair mm -hmm. well he was getting gas uh, not one of his fenders matched the other fender you know and, right. uh, so we, we figured hey you know where's the guy's machete <laughs> you're probably lucky you were there to learn how to shoot your guns uh, and to practice because well they they need they need it there yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why and, is it why is this whole thing so far away? Um uh, well, it, they won't let I, anything I, like I this. I guess it's the only place you can practice shooting and not hit anything. Yeah, well, uh you know they they have uh these big berms. There's like 50 ranges mm -hmm. and uh it it's quite a facility. Mm -hmm. And so anyway, I uh I I enjoyed it. You know, going there once a year is uh it's it's a pleasure. And I was kind of devoid of any media. You know, I'd go home at night uh, to the room, and uh, they had a TV that maybe had, I don't think it was 720. That would have been too sharp of a picture. But what's the one below that, 440? 420, 485, I think, something like that. Some, yeah. Something like that. I mean, all it was was, and on as far as channels, QVC, was the thing to watch there you know they had qvc they had uh, a, a number of other channels they had old tv shows
but uh, not much in the way of news. I finally found Fox, and uh, but that was like the last day, and uh, I saw what was going on. You know, if no, I wanted you to watched Fox. Lucy, you weren't finding out what was going on. Yeah, well, you know, I, I if uh, you turn on Perump TV, you get I Love Lucy, mm-hmm. uh, and and this is you know the 1958 version. Well, there's a there's a there's I think a station in Perump that they actually did a documentary on. On HBO a while back, and it's like a singular uh, uh, operation by one guy, and he has a very a small TV station. Crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it, it's uh, yeah, it was kind of nice not seeing the news, but today, for instance, mm-hmm. uh, I get I get a tweet from Tony. Oh God! And Tony oh. says, "Hey, that guy from from uh, the the leader of the Ukrainians. That guy's a comedian." And so I, I when wrote did he, him back. When did he suddenly said, find that out? Yeah. I said, you know, the, the guy's a hero. And uh, what do you mean? I said, well, he was offered uh, the ability to get out of the country and, he and, go. and go to a, a safe haven. Right. And, and he said his response was, I don't need a ride. I need guns. Yeah. <laughs> well, the other way around. I don't need, I need guns. I don't need a ride. Okay, exactly. well, uh, yeah, you, you get the idea, and Perump, he, everything's back. Um, he did a, a TV, th- three seasons of a TV series in uh, in uh, in the Ukraine. Ukraine? Yeah, and uh, they are showing that series on British television starting this weekend. Wow. It's a comedy I, I series. It's a, sh- they're it, not showing it in Russia. No, no, but it's a com- <laughs> it's a comedy series, and they and yeah. they're showing it. They they were wondering whether they should or they shouldn't, but I think it's important to just show this guy's work. You know. Yeah. Well, uh, I don't know what the guy's work was like, but uh, he was, no, he was know, very he was very famous, obviously yeah. very well loved. He had his own uh, TV shows. Uh, mm-hmm. This series I'm talking about, I think he did something kind of like the Tonight Show, in uh, in uh, in the Ukraine, and then when all that corruption in the Ukraine took place and the very corrupt people who were running it, uh, that, those, were, those those were Putin uh, uh, assignees. Yeah, I, I think yeah. Putin wanted but, those guys that right. were the corrupt ones. Right, right, and uh, so he ran against them. Kind of almost, you know, as a comedian saying, oh, "Okay, I'll run," you know, and he and he won, and he became prime minister, and nobody knew what he'd be like. They didn't care. They just got rid of this other guy, and he turned out to really be this real leader. Yeah, you know, uh, you know I mean, I I am impressed uh, with yeah. with him. He he's the real deal. Yeah, as as well as uh, it's things aren't going that well for Putin. Uh, I, you know, even if he takes the country over, which he probably will if he continues to, you know. Well, I don't bomb, know how. Bomb. Here's what I don't understand: How does he intend to hold on to the country? Because there are only 150,000 troops, right? Right. Uh, and there are about after everybody's left, 30 million Ukrainians. Well, uh, so how do you? How do you? And I think. Uh, uh, between a half a million and 750,000 have fled so far. Right, but let's just say that there are four, 40 million, okay? Mm-hmm. Let's just say that for the sake of argument. How do you hold that with 150,000 men? You, you can't. Well, you and, know, and not and if the people who are there want you out. Right, well, a lot of what's leaving are women and children. And yeah. uh, the, the people from uh, other areas are going there to take up arms against the Russians. Uh, the um, you know this this is these these people are 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 fighting for their freedom and right. uh, you know we could take a lesson from them as, as to what freedom really costs. Well, here's uh, the, here's the thing, the the the, the, the so, R- Russians, uh, Russian government has said that they've only lost 430 people in this war. The estimate now is anywhere between. 2,000 and 4,000, the real estimate, okay? And there, when somebody dies, one of their troops dies in the street, they leave them there. Right, well, they say it's a COVID death. (laughs) Yeah, right. But they leave them there, and a a military guy who was on MSNBC today, but it doesn't diminish what he was saying about this, said that 
uh, as a military person, he said, you don't leave a dead body on the battlefield. You recover right. the body so you can send it home to the relatives. You know, There was a, uh, a, a Russian soldier who was killed, was writing a letter to his mother. And uh, he was saying, hey, you know, uh, we're killing children. We're, uh, uh, you know, uh, we were supposed to be here uh, on an exercise. And uh, so I, I think they were misled. And, and I believe a lot of the Russians are giving intel to the Ukrainians uh, uh, because they were going to try and assassinate Zelensky. Mm -hmm. And it was a Russian that gave the Ukrainians that information. There right. was a Chechen hit squad yeah. that was sent in to assassinate Zelensky. Uh, so the Russians actually tipped them off and Zelensky is still alive. And they killed the Chechen hit team. Uh, it was like, um, uh, you know, a real uh, high, um, yeah. uh, highly trained team of assassins. Uh, now, also, you, you've got this convoy. Supposedly, it's 40, 41, 44 miles long, and it's been stopped for a number of days. Do you think they ran out of gas or they're waiting for the price of gas to come down? Uh, they probably, I would say, they they either ran, uh, they probably ran out of gas or even more, makes much more sense that all you have to do is have a couple of them stall and you've stalled the whole bunch. But you can push them off the road. Some military guy, again, that I saw on MSNBC yeah. and again, I don't think you'll di disagree with this uh, consensus of uh, this assessment, rather, of the situation. Said that uh, uh, the fact of the matter is that these uh, uh, these people who are all lined up for forty miles are sitting ducks. This is the worst military maneuver that this right. general had ever seen. You know? Why haven't they uh, gotten a few drones and dropped a few bombs and knocked this thing out? I mean, they, they are sitting ducks. Now, it just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, I know that Trump gave the Ukrainians a, a number of weapons, stingers, missiles, and uh, anti-tank, uh, and uh, uh, some other things. And I have shot down a no, number he, I don't of think he did. I, I don't think he gave them anything. No, 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 that's not true. It was, no. it was Obama that gave them, no, give no, them well, anything. That, that, was, what, that was a long time ago. And that was, right. But, but I'm, Trump, saying, I'm saying that Trump probably wouldn't have done it because his master... Putin would not That's have not liked true. him doing it. Uh, yeah, you're, you're oh, well, listen, listen to do you want to know how he, how he played into his master's whim? Remember, he, he got, said we were getting out of NATO. Why, would, why were we getting out of NATO? Who, who, would benefit, NATO? who would benefit from us getting out of NATO? Well, Russia, of course. Of why course. was NATO formed? But NATO was not paying... Uh, there, each of the countries wasn't paying the percentage that they agreed to, and the United Forget States. Forget about that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He, was, he States, was using that as an excuse, Phil. He right. was doing it because Putin wanted him to do it, because no. Putin got him elected, and he was That's acting on true. his whim. And I no. don't, you know. L listen to this. Uh, Trump got the NATO nations to uh, put up a lot more money. The mm -hmm. end result is, did Trump and the United States pull out of NATO? No, they did not. And they didn't because Trump said, hey, I'm going to pull out and I'm not going to continue to pay for this unless you guys pay your fair share. Well, they started paying their fair share and we didn't pull out. Now, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't think that that was a... We did point. say we were going to pull out by a certain date. He gave unless, a date. Unless the other nations, France, Germany, and so forth, kicked in the percentage of their GMP that they were supposed to kick in. Well, they didn't kick in all of it, but they certainly kicked in billions more, and it's a good thing they did because right now it's needed. Now, I understand also that there's a NATO convoy that's going uh, to... Why, if, if, if in fact he wasn't going to pull out of NATO and he hadn't written a executive order saying we were going to pull out of NATO, why in the world... Did Biden feel it necessary to rescind that order and to go back into NATO? He never pulled out of NATO. Well, uh, I believe he, he there was a he, pulled, he couldn't he pull out, out before a certain date, but no, he yeah, was going to pull out. out the there Paris was an order. 
there was a he pulled no, out of the Paris no, climate. No, accord. that was another thing altogether. Right, but he didn't pull out of NATO. He, he only threatened to pull out of NATO. He pulled. He had an executive order to pull out of NATO as of a date certain, which was then rescinded by Biden. Well, uh, obviously he could have rescinded it too, as long as NATO uh, kicked in. But he didn't. Fun. He didn't. He was doing. He was doing. Listen, be honest. He was doing Putin's bidding. I, really, he nice. was. He was. He was. Uh, Putin's butt boy. The only person doing Putin's bidding was Hillary Clinton and oh. the DNC. Uh, you know these. What, what they did, just like your argument right now, which is Trump was in bed with Putin. I believe that the people that were in bed with Putin was Hillary Clinton and and the oh, Democrats. How 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 were they? Well, you know you know it, it, how were they, Phil? Well, they came up with the fake dossier. They, uh, they, they. Wait, used that the dossier had line. nothing to do with the Russians. It said that it yeah. happened in Russia, but right. it didn't. It wasn't the and, Russians and, that came and, up with that. And Adam Schiff and and Hillary Clinton and all of those people claiming Russian collusion, their whole basis was a lie. The whole thing was a lie. I believe so, there was Russian collusion. Yeah, to Trump so, to win yeah. the election. Why else? Why else would Trump, even to this day? I mean, do you realize what he's been saying lately about yeah. this whole thing, and how uh, wonderful well, Putin is? Yeah, it was taken out of context. No, it wasn't. At the, at the CPAC conference, I heard he, him at the CPAC conference. Yeah. So, uh, someone asked him, "Do you think Putin is smart?" And he says, "Yeah, I think he's a lot smarter than the Western." Uh, 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 no, uh, he also wrote a thing saying how smart he thought Putin was. Well, Putin was smart, but he wasn't. He didn't. And he's he done nothing. Predict. And he's done nothing to decry what's going on now in I, the I Ukraine. Believe, I believe in Ukraine. he had, but you know, all of his press conferences are hidden by the mainstream media, mm -hmm. unless unless you look at media like the Epic Times or Fox News, you're not going to see... Oh, I see. Uh, you're not going to see the truth. Oh. I'm not going to see the truth. I see. Right. Okay. You know, because they're, they're going to... They're going to hide uh, anything that... You know, just like Twitter and Facebook and everything else that's banned mm -hmm. Donald Trump, you're not going to see anything that they don't want you to see. And they're, they're part of the problem. So, you know, just because don't you don't... Don't believe see, any know, of what he's saying, folks. Yeah. Don't, don't. Well, you know... When uh, when the DNC and and Adam Schiff and Hillary Clinton were all saying that it was Trump that was in collusion with the uh, with the Russians, uh, it was a made up story. You fell for it, along with obviously 80 million mm -hmm. uh, absentee votes that got sent in to, uh, to different places. Oh, to really? Election. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, okay. I, I'm. I see. If we were so good at at uh, at uh, uh, faking faking an election, okay, why couldn't we do it for Hillary? Uh, they didn't know. Especially, they had to do especially oh, when Hillary, she was three million votes ahead. Anyway, Hillary thought she had it in the bag, you know. And 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 Donald Trump never imagined he was going to win. So why did they have to fake it for Hillary when they thought she had it in the bag and she didn't, you know, didn't realize that it wasn't going her way until the last minute. So th there was no time okay. for them. Well, to let's fake not go it. back and rehash that whole thing. It's, uh, uh, all right. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh, but I'm we, sure you agree that what Putin is doing now against the Ukraine is abominable. Abs absolutely terrible. I think I, I think that uh, Putin is the is nothing more than a Hitler. What he is doing uh, is is tantamount to genocide. Uh, he should be held by the world as as the despot that he is. And uh, there is no way that our country should continue to buy oil from uh, Russia. Hmm. You know, uh, I would rather uh, hitchhike than our country buy oil from Russia and give them billions of dollars in revenue to do what's happening to the people of the well, Ukraine. Well, so far we haven't stopped taking their their oil. No, know? and uh, so, you mean, know, it, uh, it's not Trump that's buying which, the oil. Which is, shows nothing about our resolve. No, you and, know, and, and, and we so care more was, about putting gas in our automobiles than we do about human life. You well, know? Yeah, well, Right now, you know, you're going to have a midterm election 
if if we stop buying Russian oil and we don't start pumping some ourselves, the price of oil is going to really well. We've increase. just we've just made a deal where the world is going to go dip into their reserves, and we're going to have several billion gallons. So but that's very know. short term. It's short term, uh, but it, it'll it, you know whatever. Anyway, let me um, uh, let me get on to one other thing here. How about this, Bobert Broad and uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene? Yeah, oh, last when night. they heckled uh, when they yeah, heckled. I mean, uh, you know, Biden. come on, have a little respect for the hallowed hall you're in. You know, well, look, uh, uh, I don't know that I totally disagree with what they did when Biden was talking about his son uh, being killed, and well, uh, he was. Yeah, and he was, but not you killed. Know, like, but he was—he died as a result of uh, what they call these uh, what do you call burn pits, pits, burn pits. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I got something to say about burn pits in a minute. But uh, what uh, what well, we uh, don't want to hear about your underarms. What yeah, what Bobert and and uh, Green were doing was they were saying you didn't mention the thirteen people that were killed in the botched exit from uh, Afghanistan then what and, about what about his what what about yelling out build the wall how did that fit into anything uh, you know listen you all I'm saying all I'm saying stuff. is these two cunts okay yeah. I'll call them that because I'll call them exactly what they are those two bitches uh, were not I'm not saying respecting Biden but not respecting where they were well, you know, yeah, and, and, cool. you know, and, and considering that a year earlier people had gone in and uh, literally uh, went in and 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 pillaged the place, right? Yeah, uh, they should have given it more respect. Okay. Well, I yeah, I I get it, but you know, listening to that empty bag of air, Biden. Well, uh, uh, you, you know, can, I you, think that you, that, that you can that call speech. an empty bag of air. I think his speech was okay. I don't think he's a great speaker. I don't it think wasn't he. This, it wasn't you know, how he said it. It was what he said. What, what did he that say? Speech, what did he say? Well, he, I, that speech was like a canned speech that was written two weeks before all of these events took place. I would have rather him. And what he said was, oh, the state of the nation, it, we are strong. The state of the nation is good. Well, you know, no, it's not. We, we've got terrible inflation. We have uh, gas prices that yes, are- Yes, but are, every are, president who ever gives that speech always ends with that and says, you know, the state of the nation is good and sound well, and solid. Look, look there, th he was lying to us. No, what, what you want him to say people. is, uh, I've been fucking up like crazy. And, well, you know. Well, maybe that's what it, it would have taken is for him to be honest and, uh, you know, uh, similar to uh, either the checkers speech or the fireside chats of FDR. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we have nothing to fear but fear itself. You know, uh, what what he needed to do was to be honest for once. And the man has no ability to be honest. Oh, I think he. he I, I, I think I, I think he's honest. I just don't think he's very charismatic, and I think that's what's hurting him at the poll with the poll numbers. I don't. I just don't think he he, he doesn't inspire confidence in people. You know. Because people have lost confidence, and what he needed to do was tell What do you people, think they felt during Trump, for crying out loud? Oh, like, I know. had terrible confidence in Trump. Well, you did. You, did. you did. You're the one. Okay. But not yeah. us. You know, so, I mean, hey. uh, uh, this divisiveness in the country. I mean, the thing I felt he should have done last night when those two bitches started mouthing off in the audience was to stop and say, okay, listen, stop it. Okay. This is the kind. Yeah, I, stop, I, I it. stop it. Stop it. This is the kind. It. This is the kind of divisiveness that is right. causing the very problems we have today. But, but he, he didn't, didn't do, do it, it, and that's where I was let down by him. Okay. And, and but I, I was let down in, in many other ways. Now, by the now, way, burn, I'm going to bring in a lot. No, of no, no. Wait a minute. Uh, burn pits. Did yeah. you see Nancy Pelosi licking her chops and going like this and and rubbing her thing? Yeah, playing, yeah, I with, saw that. That, that was, yeah, that was yeah. Uh, and then Schumer. Oh, I, I think I'm supposed to stand up and clap now. Oh, oh no, wait a minute. They're, they're booing him. Let me sit down. I'll clap in a minute. Yeah. You know, yeah. it, it was such a phony show of uh, phoniness that, uh, you know, I, I think we're the laughing stock of the world. And Biden is a big uh, part of I, it. Well, I, that, bring, that, bring I do, in, that I don't think. But, you know, bring in your minions. I'll bring in the minions. Here they come. Uh, <laughs> A bunch of minions. 
Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, uh, I there's. Tell there... You, I am thoroughly drunk from all the fucking lies that Bill's putting out there. I got to tell you, all the misinformation and stuff. Yep. Oh, so, uh, just, just, just. Yeah. just well, hey, uh, okay. There's another hero, a hero from Canada that that their people stood up against tyranny, and uh, I'm proud of the people, uh, the truckers in Canada that stood up against the kind of tyranny that uh, uh, their, their president uh, bestowed upon them. And it's one, a, he's and, a prime minister, by the way, Phil. What, whatever he is. Yeah. Well, there's uh, a difference. There's a difference. There's no difference. He, he, he's, he's, a, he's a haircut with an ego, you know? I'm sure Steve, tr trucker Steve, will agree with you on that. Oh, yeah, Trudeau's a fucking idiot. <laughs> See, I told you right there. Follows in Trump's footsteps. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, uh, Trump, that's Trump right. Trump was a bastion of freedom. Trump was a bastion of freedom. Okay. Trump stood up for the people. All right, now, 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 Alan wanted to say something here, and then so did yeah. Charlie. Uh, they yeah. want to correct you on some things. Sure. Uh, so be to write be, down those laws. So be quiet right now while right. they assail no, no, you. No, no, let, 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 let them go. It just, I, I, I'm, I'm really getting drunk. Listen, here. you, you, yeah, you, you we're proud of you. You made him stay at a whole horrible hotel. Okay, so we're <laughs> Actually, very proud that, of you. That hotel has a 4.1 out of five, where his Wine Ridge Gardens. If you go look online, Wine it, Ridge Resort. Wine Ridge. It's not a resort. It's a mobile home park that's got a little pool and a couple cabins. <laughs> that, those cabins. Every, everything you read about them says bed bug, bed bug, bed bug. Oh really? Well, I didn't look that they're far. They're only thirty nine dollars a night, and so that's no, you know, that's that's to park an RV. It's one hundred and fifty a night uh, oh, for the. No, I just read their website. I did too. It's it's one hundred and fifty a night for their. Have another drink. For their good cabin, and uh, the thirty two bucks is to park your RV. Oh, Bill, I, I think you have a stalker, it's finding out where you're going, seeing all the ratings, see all the reviews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he bitched last year about the Hampton Inn, and I said, check out the Best West. And he said, I walked over there. Faye and I, his 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 uh, other ah. half, better half. Walked over there and said the place is beautiful. It was the lobby. There next year, <laughs> it was the lobby. We drove past. It, the lobby looked great, uh, but behind it is just a Motel Six. It's not, uh, a, it's not a high. What do you want for Peru? <laughs> well, uh, Wine Ridge Resort. <laughs> Welcome to our travel show, ladies and gentlemen. Where to stay when you're in Peru? Well, uh, is is Jeff still traveling? Huh? Yeah. Well, wait a minute. Now, uh, right here. Yeah. Well, are you, are you in Connecticut or Florida? No, he's in no, Perum. Still in Florida. Oh, I don't blame you. <laughs> Charlie, you've got your hand up. Yeah, I just wanted to correct something. Phil says we need to quit buying Russian oil and and quit and, and to drill for more oil. The United States actually exports more oil than it imports. It doesn't anymore. have to drill for any more oil. It just needs to quit exporting oil. We got plenty of oil on our own to do up to supply our own needs. That's what Keystone. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let, let, and that's what Keystone was going to do. Keystone wasn't keeping all the oil. Keystone was giving all the oil out. Right. Right. Stop saying None that. None of the Keystone oil going through Keystone was going to be used in the United States. Exactly. Not one drop. But it would allow us to be more self-sufficient if that oil was going elsewhere. Self-sufficient on oil? We don't need to be oh, self-sufficient on wait, wait, oil. Wait, 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 hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. What did you just say? It made no sense at all. Uh, if the oil I mean, from does. Stone in Canada went to serve if, other parts uh, of the world, yeah, then we would have we more. Would have, we wouldn't be exporting any of our oil. We'd be using it for but our We'd own. still be ex exporting our oil because our oil producers would be making money off of it. Right. It's the oil companies that are exporting the oil. It's not well, the United States government. So when Trump had us totally uh, uh, oil, oil, uh, sufficient for uh, oil and we were exporting oil because we had more oil than we needed mm -hmm. uh, and started you know, there's no more fracking they have canceled all those leases that were in government uh, or federal property the offshore drilling has been greatly curtailed and we are not producing enough oil for our own needs, and that's why we're going to Russia. Mm -hmm. And I don't see 
why anyone would not stand up and and be upset over the fact that we're sending money to Russia so that they can kill innocent people in the Ukraine. So you all you're all fine with buying Russian oil? No. Oh. Oil. Who said we were for, all fine with buying Russian oil? Well, you said if, we were self-sufficient. Well, you got to make up. Well, we wouldn't money. have to buy Russian oil. We could buy Canadian oil. It comes out at the end of the pipeline in Texas. We're right there. Yes, we we do buy Canadian well, I say we maybe put in, I think, somewhere between here and, and, and Texas, uh, we, we uh, put, it, uh, you know, put in a faucet. Well, look, do they have oil refineries in Iowa, in, in Montana? No, they don't have oil refineries okay. there. They got them in Texas. Okay. And that, and that pipeline was going from Canada to Texas. All right. It was, Phil, 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 Phil. Phil. What was in the pipeline? What was in the pipeline? Nothing yet. No, no, no. What was going to be in the pipeline? It's that, tar, it's that tar oil that leaks that's very corrosive. And when it gets to the environment, it just eats everything up. So it's I, not I, like this I didn't know the golden the, oil. What do you mean? Magical. What do you mean tar oil? Doesn't the, doesn't the tar the, sand. They call it tar sand. Right. Right? Tar so sand oil. Well, you yeah. refine it and it's, and it's fine. But when it comes from point A to point B, there's a huge risk when that leaks. And it was already yeah. leaking. It was a double pipe. Uh, but it, know, I remember reading it was leaking. It, yes. Yes. It yeah. Because because the Indians were trying to blow it up, you know, <laughs> oh, it go oh, through Indian oh, land. To begin with, they're Have not called. Drink, they're, they're not oh, called no. Indians oh. any longer. They're it's called. It's a double yeah. pipe, so uh, Bill knows about the petroleum <laughs> it was movement. A peace of pipe. It was a peace pipe. I, I think I think we're right. You're always bitching, Phil, that you're paying six dollars a gallon for gas. Good. Let's stop buying gas from Russia if we haven't already. And you can pay seven dollars a gallon. And I pay ten dollars a gallon not to fund those criminals. Good, good. That's good to know. We we'll keep too. that in mind. I would too. Yeah, so would I. And and Alex would pay twenty dollars a gallon okay. if he okay. drove a car. Calm, calm down now, Phil. All calm, right, calm down. Uh, Charlie, did you hear anything else that you disagreed with that he was saying? Well, probably everything. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, at, was I uh, was I right about uh, the fact that uh, 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 Putin would not have been happy with Trump sending, dr you know, weapons and so on to the right. uh, to uh, yeah, of course. And by the way, I don't know why he would have sent it to them because he was doing nothing but berating them constantly about yeah. how he hated their corrupt government. And blah 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 blah. Remember, Trump is the one that, that that refused to send the aid that Congress had had uh, voted for to Ukraine unless Ukraine got some bogus investigation over that Hunter Biden. Biden, you guys are morons. No, it wasn't Biden. It wasn't, wasn't Biden. Biden. It was Trump. And he, and he, said it hey, hey. he was fucking impeached for doing that. That's right. Uh, he he just said to he to said to Zelensky, "Hey, can you help me out on this?" Uh, you know, it was his choice of words. But, you know, he wasn't getting Zelensky to do anything. Zelensky said Trump never said anything inappropriate. No, no he, said he had, no, he said he had asked him to give him phony yeah. information about, uh, about uh, Bo no, Biden. No, he didn't. And yeah. What do you mean, no? What, what, how are you rewriting history, Phil? That's what I'm asking about you. Where are you getting this crap from? I know where you're getting your crap. You know, from since Fox since News. Phil started screaming, <laughs> then the, the, um, Fox, the, New, Fox News is not day. conservative enough for Phil. <laughs> by the way, by the way, let me tell you this story. Uh, I get, I have, what do you call it, uh, uh, Roku, well, on which you can find the uh, Gabnet Roku channel, folks, which is a finally well created channel by me. If you have a Roku, okay, if you have a Roku, up until day before yesterday or yesterday you could get RT channel which is Russian television and uh, I went and downloaded it because I wanted to watch it because to no watch more. that is like going to Fox here in America yeah. no more and I, I was watching it and it was wonderful to watch I mean they were saying how you know the people in Ukraine were all Nazis and drug dealers and how uh, they were using children as human shields uh, and uh, on and on and on. And I loved watching it because it was just the, the, the lies were just so pervasive, it was ridiculous. Well, Roku, 
Put your hand down, Phil. Roku <laughs> took RT off. They've, they've, uh, uh, when I go to them, it just says. Uh, it was in the news today that they yeah. took them off. Yeah. That Which was I, Al Gore's channel. Uh, no, he He's sold, he bought a news channel. Right. Didn't work out for him. So he Left sold wing. that channel to Al no Al Jazeera, not RT. Oh. Everybody, drink. Drink. <laughs> all right. I got a ABC News. All right. October 1st, 2019. Trump administration approves new sale of anti tank weapons to Ukraine. The Trump administration approved 39 million sale of defensive lethal weapons to Ukraine, according to U.S. officials familiar with the plan. So, uh, and also Trump dealing, uh, the White House ordered nearly 400 million in military assistance to Ukraine. Uh, uh, be, uh, and, uh, okay. So anyway, what we got here is in 2019, he sold defensive weapons to Ukraine. So and that's problem is the Congress voted that money to Ukraine six months before that. Trump refused to do it until October. And it was supposed because, to be given to well, Ukraine, wait, not sold. No, no fin wait, Phil, finish listening to them and then okay. respond. Yes, what were you so, saying, Charlie? Yeah. Oh, that, well, what, uh, what Alan said, that all this stuff that they came up in October, that's after he was he was he was being impeached, and they had brought out the fact that six that he had been withholding this aid to the Ukraine for six months. Because he wanted to make sure that the corruption that had been going on in Ukraine was addressed before he was going to give them uh, or sell them all of this armament. And, and that's a reasonable thing. Out so, Nazism in and and right. you don't you don't think that there was corruption in Ukraine? Okay, I mean, hold on. Now, be quiet. Not when be Zelensky cool. got in. Be, be, be quiet. Not after Zelensky got in. Right. Okay. You just you just called Zelensky a hero, Bill. And that's and and he is. But the guy that was in before Zelensky was a crook. He was the guy that Hunter that's, Biden. And was you know where he is movie. now. Oh. And you know where Zelensky you know where that where that guy is now. He did. Uh, Probably in a barrel of uh, no, hydrogen no. He, uh, chloride. He's in Moscow. He's living yeah. in Moscow, at well, the you know, at the at the whim and the uh, inv invite of uh, of Putin, right? And, and that's because he was Putin's uh, shill. Yeah, and so and, was Trump. Yeah, both of them were. I mean, look, how many here agree with me? Keep it quiet, Phil, because I, you know, you don't have to raise your hand Eric on victory. this. Victory, huh? It's a Eric victory uh, having these go ahead, people agree go ahead and with say what you want. No, what Alex. I was going to say is how many of you agree with me that isn't it suspicious that Trump was against NATO? My brother said that too. We had a conversation yeah, with him. against NATO. <clears throat> and uh, he, uh, you know, he was uh, uh, loved, loved uh, Putin and was for everything Putin was doing and made it more difficult for the Ukraine to survive by not allowing them to join NATO, by not, but, but for instance, by saying we're pulling out of NATO. Uh, doesn't it I seem agree, all suspicious all that, that, that the, yeah. the, there were these inferences that, uh, that uh, Trump had been elected because the Russians fixed the election, and then he goes ahead and does all the things that Putin would want him to do to clear the way for him to go into the Ukraine. He had, he had more Ukraine. sanctions on Putin than anybody ever had on, on the Russia. And, oh, well, uh, not now. Yeah, not now. <laughs> not now. Not now. I mean, they, they came up with sanctions this week that uh, they pulled those out of their hat. You know, I, what, what? I never even thought of some of the sanctions that they A minute put. ago, you're, you're, you're anti-Putin, and now you're saying that we shouldn't have the sanctions. Make I didn't say we shouldn't have the sanctions. I said I didn't know that they could come up with more sanctions, and the sanctions they came up with I thought were pretty good. You know, uh, if they came up with one sanction, that would be more than Trump had in his whole uh, four uh, years. Trump had tons of sanctions. Not and against he, Russia. Hold on, let me think of one. They're afraid to say what, 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 Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Tony has something to say here. Tony? You know, it's funny you said that. Me and my brother were having dinner, and he brought that up to me with the NATO, <laughs> how it was so... Like, he was against... It, it almost looks like he wanted to weaken NATO. We would, you know, it wow. really is... Yeah. If you want to think of a conspiracy, like why he didn't, 
invade under Trump's watch, they might, I mean, feel it is plausible that he mm -hmm. didn't like NATO. I mean, it's their view. And maybe now, let, let's th really want to think about it like a movie, Alex. Yeah. It really benefits Biden right now, his popularity, even though I'm not crazy about him, is sinking. Now, he invades. This only helps Trump to get maybe reelected if, he, if it's possible down the road. It's actually, you want to know something? No, it's what? actually, I can believe that he, I don't know what he has on Trump. This is what I have to ask Phil. And this is going to really clear up all the answers. And I told this to my brother. I want to see his taxes. Yep. I want to see where he has his money. Mm -hmm. That if you see his taxes, I think it'll show some truth there. We haven't seen him yet. By the way, Adrian, Adrian, Adrian is hiding from us. Oh, oh look, she, boy, That's she's getting Trump's good. tax return. She's yeah. getting getting Got good. It. She's getting really good. Yeah. That's a picture of Alex's shirt that he wears every show. You know, Hunter Biden didn't do as good a piece of art as that and got a half a million dollars. What did he actually do to get his money? Actually? You're, 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 uh, Brian, you're uh, muted. Oh, talking to Adrian. Uh, yeah, she she does uh, sharing every every Thursday, so they have a sound that you have to do it. So it's, the, today's sound is the the short U sound. So it's uh, underwear sure. unicorn sharing right now. Uh, <laughs> she's a make, good make she's a good of, she's getting to be a good little a artist, pig. you know. Make the sound yeah, of she, a pig. She loves drawing. She loves drawing. Yeah. 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 Anyway, um, uh, I just, uh, you know, I mean, I just, uh, I, I just think it, it just seems to be an odd coincidence that he cleared, oh, he cleared the way for Trump to do what he's doing now, you know. Um, I mean, it's there, it's there yeah. if you really want to really think about it. <laughs> you don't have to lock her out. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> you know. Um, <laughs> You're better off just giving her a hug, and and that's that's what she's looking for. I did. I gave her a kiss. So then she's still. Maybe if I would have treated my kids as good as you treat your kids, and and gave them the attention they wanted, they'd be talking to me today. My suggestion is that you tell her you like the dog better. I I yeah. think your kids aren't talking to you because of your views. Nah, they got no idea, Mike. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, I mean, uh, I, I just think, uh, you know, what's happening there is just unconscionable. Oh, and, and and I, I, I don't know what the answer is, to be honest. There's a Holocaust the museum that got blown up. Oh, yeah, they're only attacking military targets. No, well, I don't think yeah. it was, I don't know if it was a Holocaust, was it a Holocaust museum? Yes, yeah, yeah. And it was the site of uh, of uh, where the I believe it was the Nazis killed thirty three thousand Jews in two days. Right, right. You know, absolutely uh, thirty three thousand in two days. Yeah. You know? And Trump uh, thinks this guy's a great guy. He even uh, said he saw on national news the he, other day. You know, I think here's he here's what you want here's to what the the Ukrainians should do. Here's the deal they should make with uh, with uh, Putin. Uh, you get your troops to withdraw, and we'll let you have Chernobyl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so they already have Chernobyl. I'm the land I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand what the whole negotiation thing is. What, it's what buying, do you have to negotiate besides get the hell out? It's yeah, buying yeah. time for Putin to get those supplies around uh, uh, Kiev so he can attack the city. And he wants to attack it from all sides. You know, in police work, that's called a clusterfuck. What happens really? is you got a bad guy in the middle. Yeah, but, you got the okay, cops okay. surrounding him with guns pointed at the bad guy. So the, the how are you going to hold a country of 40 million people yeah. with 150,000 troops? Yep. How are you going to well, hold that country? Well, you're not. You know, uh, he miscalculated this invasion. And uh, he, he I, I don't think, I think that if he does that, he's going to have a resistance that will fight him well, from now until the end of time. I think there's anything, one thing worse than Vladimir Putin. And that's a, that's a crazy Vladimir Putin. And that's what I think we've got now. Yeah. Somebody said that on TV. They said he looks unbalanced. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Him and Trump, get a Trump are related. Have you, seen Walensky? You, Alan. Have you seen Walensky, though? He looks exhausted. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Just absolutely I mean, exhausted. They said it was it true to somebody. They said they were trying to assassinate him. Should he get out of the country if they go in? No. 
Well, he doesn't. He doesn't he's want to. He doesn't want to, and he's become an inspiration to his people by not doing it. By not the doing US, it. What? The U.S. said they take him. The U.S. said <laughs> we'll we'll get you here, and he said no, I'm staying here. You know what his reply was to that? He hmm. said, yep. I, "I need guns, not a ride." Oh, yeah. This guy's a hero, yep. and I like the other guy who was driving down the road, and there's a tank, and it was stalled. Oh, and the, it tank, was the tank driver the tank driver said can you help us we need gas and he said no but I'll tell you back to Russia, back to Russia. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god with his ox cart and then uh, Kevin was it, it was it was was it a lot like Donald Trump in that was it Kevin Alan, is, you know, Kevin was a one track mind Kevin you know? was it was it you who sent I'm it to mute you hold on a second <laughs> Kevin do you have a uh, 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 did you send it to me or did uh, uh, did Patrick send it to me the 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 Ukrainian woman uh, with the Patrick, yeah, with the, it to me. yeah with the Russian Patrick, with the yeah. Russian guard and yeah, uh, saying to so him Patrick. here take these seeds they were what, yeah, poppy so seeds we, or whatever sunflower seeds which is the sunflower is the flower of, of ukraine so the sunflowers will grow when you're dead he said, and, and put them in your pocket so when you're lying there dead they'll take root and they'll have flowers oh my oh. god <laughs> that is is awesome yeah and the soldier's saying soldier's saying don't cause anything so she says well, see, Fuck off. here's the thing a lot of these russians don't want to kill because oh, yeah. they look upon well, they, they have they, they have families in Ukraine. Yeah. You know. They were supposed to be doing some training mission. They find out they're going to Ukraine after they get there. Yeah, they thought they were on a training mission. It was, a, it was an exercise. War. Yes, Tony. You know how I think I told my brother how this is gonna end. They get to cripple their economic, the ruble's down to nothing. His own people are rioting in Russia. They're gonna put a bullet in his head, Putin, one of his guys. We well, Marjorie has a girlfriend who is is Russian, and she says she's talked to her friends in in, in, <coughs> in uh, Soviet Union or Soviet Union in Russia, and they say there aren't any demonstrations. You know, I guess I think the news debate. is showing them. Well, they, they I think speak, I think she's the Elon Musk. He set up a satellite system that the Ukrainians can use to get out. Well, he has a thing called Skylink. Yeah, and uh, it it is it spans the globe, and he just puts them up over yeah. uh, the uh, over Ukraine right. in order for it to, you know. And so the U.S. government is using it for intelligence too, and they can show the demonstrations in Russia. Yeah, but you know, uh, Zelensky said that the U.S. government is not sharing the information fast enough. They're saying, oh, yeah, 10 hours ago, there was a tank over there. So they're, they're really, uh, you know, they need more timely information uh, to do this uh, and, and, and to fight. They have fight. drones, though, and I don't understand why they haven't run those drones over that road and yeah. start dropping yeah. some stuff, you know? Yep. Yeah. Well, Alan will tell you why. Yeah, Trump told him not to. Get Trump into a drone. <laughs> you know, your broken record, Alan. Hey, hey uh, you're Ray. one to talk. Hey, Ray, uh, do you want to yep. change this? Do you want to change the subject? I'd like to ask Ray and Brian a question about something else. Whatever. Oh, okay. Every uh, day. Oh, what does Alex it. think? I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't matter, <laughs> does it? No. He went like this. <laughs> so every day, Ray and Brian post this Boogle thing with numbers. Wordle. What the hell is Wordle. it? Huh? It's a game for intelligent people, so yeah. You have to have a good vocabulary. Oh, he loses. All I see is, is is different colored squares and and some numbers. Well, yeah. What's this all it's about? a high, very high intelligence. Yeah. Okay. Then you shouldn't be <laughs> just playing it. And uh, <laughs> so what what is it? Wordle. It's, it's, it's a word it's game. It's the same as the game called Mastermind, the board game Mastermind. You have, you get you have five letters, and you have to eventually guess the word that's called scrabble isn't it no 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 
It tells you if a, word, a letter's in the right place, and it tells you if you have a letter, but it's in the wrong place. And then if you if the letters aren't in the word, it tells you, and by the sixth line, you have a chance to get it. Otherwise, so, you can't get it. So the squares that are different colors that you post, that has to do with letters? Yeah, green means you got the letter in the right spot. Yellow means you the letter is in the word, but you got it in the wrong spot. Oh. Just so look at Wordle it? on New York Times. You'll see. Oh, oh. Hey, Alex, Alex is falling asleep. Yeah, so where do you get the question? Where, where, no where question. You, it's just you have to guess the word. No, no Why hints. Don't you and no go nothing. online and look it up. Yeah, the Times has one. I would imagine it has something to do with you. You have to guess what the word is, but you put in a couple of letters and it tells you one of these is part of it, but yes. one of these isn't, but it's in the wrong place. Yes. That's which allows right. you to go to the next <clears throat> level and try and figure it out there by moving them into the right place exactly. and adding letters. And by the time you get to the, if you don't figure it out by the time you get to the bottom, that's it. You lose. you lose. High intelligence. Very good, Alex. Yeah. Got and, it. and exactly. I don't even know how exactly. it's, I don't even know how it's played, but I've seen pictures of it and I went, that's oh, yeah. probably the basis they, for it. They have some other really tough ones, like long number ones, which are uh, <laughs> great. That one, the I, math, I, the math ones are impossible. Yeah. I, the, the, there's a fun one called Bartle, which is all Shakespeare words. I tried that once and then I figured out it was Shakespeare and I, <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> oh boy. The guy that made it from Oakland is a millionaire and sold it to the New York Times. Yep. Yeah. yeah. What, yep. what, Wordle? Wordle? Yeah. Wordle, yeah. Oh, okay. And it's, it's so easy to program. I heard yeah. he made it for his wife. Uh, is that true? That he, that the guy who invented it made it for his wife? I think he made it for his wallet. Right. Yeah. <laughs> his wife gets it anyways to the end. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's basically the same as the board game Mastermind, which I used to play with my kids like 20 years ago. I don't know how... It is the same. He just called a different name. Yeah. 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 Well, so the Mastermind... People look up some words. Oh, well, Alan only sees Trump. They, that's, you know, it's all. all he's got. That's five letters. That would work. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. But he got him in the wrong place. Trump, you could perump. Trump, dump. I mean, it's all the same dump. thing. Massive dump. Massive yeah. dump. <laughs> you can tell everybody loves Trump here. Well, I don't even know why we're still talking about him. Yeah, really. <clears throat> You know, he's irrelevant. He really is irrelevant. So Alan only has one word in his vocabulary. It's one that everybody but you understands. Yeah. Trump was a crook. Uh, okay. Okay. Two words. Uh, yeah. This is this words. getting into the dumper, isn't it, Kevin? Yeah. You betcha. <laughs> you betcha. Let's have another drink. Uh, well, how about those Ukrainians? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I had a nice drive home. I had a nice drive home the other day. Tuesday, I got to listen to about ten of uh, Tony's messages to me. He's oh Jesus! Doing these dictating ones now, so oh, I just man. listened to him on the way home. That's awesome. I got you on it. Uh, I'm sorry That's about awesome. that. Brian. I Keep wonder if Tony, some way... I'm working all day, and then I get in my car and I look, and I just turned on speaker, and I laughed like all the way home. I figured I'd make a joke. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to see if you get to kick that. Sir, it t <laughs> Tony, if you were sorry, you wouldn't send them. Okay. I think I send you one, but I know you don't get them. Oh, you better not send me anything. I, I'm going to send you a book. <laughs> Nothing. If you want, I got the book. I can send it to you. I got the origin book on Wolverine if you want to read it. I ordered it if you wanted to read it. Uh, if, if, you, if you want to send it to me, fine. Do not, do not email me or anything no, asking I me I what I thought message. of it. Yeah, I got oh, yeah, you. Yeah, that warning really works. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, it, it works with me it. because I've, I've actually I've banned him at times from, from I Facebook. I, I have him blocked right now. I asked I him to not me. do I that. Know. I unblocked him. He said he wouldn't do it. And then he and did get, again. You know, by the yeah. time I wake up, That's I get my old thing. Oh, he's quiet for a certain amount of time, and then all and of a like sudden, a like box. some pariah, he rises. I'll yes, my brother, him. this is the same thing. You get me going, and then I, I get wound up, and then I get tired. Without telling him this time. Yeah. The verbal stories are awesome. I love them. Yeah. The By the way, let's ask uh, Steve here. How's how's everything going in Canada? How's the uh, the whole mask mandate thing? Is that uh, is that protest kind of over with? Uh, well, our uh, capacity limits for all the 
indoor places has, is up to full capacity. Mm -hmm. And they say the mask mandate in Ontario, at least, will be uh, done, I think, November, um, March 31st. Yeah. Well, we're, we're, we're pretty much over with it here. We're getting over it. Congress yeah, we're over with it. And, and no, Tom, we're going speak? across the uh, the United States, and they're going to make it to EC by the time it's all done. Did you see that in Congress, only one person wore a mask, and that was the guy with comorbidities in the uh, wheelchair? No, you even hear me? Probably not. But you know something? Uh, you're right, uh, uh, Kevin. The, the fact is that the convoy here, which is going to Washington to protest mask mandates, by the time they get there, there will be no mass mandates left. Yeah, you're right. It's over. Yeah, they left Arizona about a, about a, three or four days ago. Well, this was last week sometime. I hear they're in New Mexico right now. But they've stopped so many times by the time they and, get there. And by there, the way, we should add they've also lost their way. That, that has happened a couple of times. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, nice background, Ray. A friend yeah. of mine who's a truck driver who's coming back from California actually got caught up to them in uh, Oklahoma. Or Missouri, yeah. yeah. But there's, there's no, re there's no reason it. anymore here because pretty much, they've said, wear them if you want to, but you don't have to, you know. Uh, That's where they're at as of today. Yeah, and we just to hear in schools to wear in, them in the first place. Here, schools in New York are now allowing students to uh, not wear them. You know, so yes, uh, Alan. Well, I'm reading the news that just came across my phone from CNN. Satellite images show destruction of homes from Russian airstrikes. It's a good thing they're only hitting military targets. Yeah. Uh, I saw a video today on Reddit. It was horrible. Like all these people, like sitting outside of their cars, looks like they ran out and they got bombed, and they're just like yeah. Yeah. bloody messes. Turn, turn your mic down just a little bit, there, Ray. Okay. Because you're. It's hard to get this mic right. A little overpowering. Radio Shack is closed. You can buy another one. <laughs> well, I got a good mic. Well, now it's now it's too now it's not loud enough. Now it's too low. How about now? Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah okay. I, I turned on the. Uh, yeah, the pictures are horrendous. It's good. Hmm. The yeah, the pictures are horrible. Yeah. So a friend of yours was driving. I mean, he saw them in Oklahoma. You're saying, Steve. Mm -hmm. The yeah. the truckers that are going to Washington, the convoy. Yeah. 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 So, you know, uh, but it, uh, uh, I just, I just think that this whole thing that's going on in Ukraine is, is horrible. And I, it, you know, you sit here and you say, what can we do about it? You know, and you say, okay, now they want to, they're saying they want the uh, United Nations or to, or, or the, the uh, NATO countries to ban, ban flyovers over Ukraine. But they can't do anything about it. So they say you can't, uh, you you know, you can't fly over. What are you going to do? You're going to shoot down a Russian plane? Is it the uh, UN or NATO that is sending supplies to Ukraine in a caravan? And they're saying, what would happen if the Russians attacked that caravan with the uh, with the supplies and uh, uh, medicine and, and and so forth? Would that cause World War Three? No. All right, I've got a big question for you here, and I haven't brought this up. I don't think I brought this up this week. I mean, this, oddly enough, showed up on Drudge. The Russians are threatening, among other things, uh, the nuclear threat and so on, that what they will do if things really get bad is they will crash the Mir or the, uh, the space station mm -hmm. into the United States. Uh, didn't no. Musk say that he was going to try to rescue uh, the uh, the astronauts that are in the... I don't know if he said that, but that's what I said he probably should do is, you know, right. you've got Russians and Americans living up there right now. Right. I, I don't know what they're doing. Have they all gone to their sections and are just staying there or... Are they just looking down at all this and going, isn't this disgusting overall? They're yeah. probably doing that. Yeah. Probably well, doing that. But... Let's I saw act. I saw Russian soldiers like, you know, just w waving the white flag, and the Ukrainians were feeding them. It looked like they were going to go and start fight for Ukraine. Yeah. Well, the, the, in some cases, they're giving themselves up. They're surrendering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, they realized yeah. they were lied to. Yeah. Yeah. and and they don't like they, the fact they don't like the fact that they're being asked to kill children, that they're being asked yeah. to to bomb apartment buildings, 
uh, and uh, they, they feel uncomfortable with all of that, added to which a lot of these people have relatives who live in Ukraine. Yeah, so, so mm -hmm. since, since and, and this is not, not, not nasty about Trump, mm -hmm. since Trump is such good friends with Putin, why doesn't he volunteer to go over and negotiate the war? Because he wasn't good friends with Putin, you moron. He said he was. Yeah, see, there yeah. you go, Phil. Other I heard him say this that. This is what I like. This is what I, what I like about the Monday show. Nobody calls somebody else a moron. He, Putin <laughs> and Trump <laughs> gave him enough respect to keep him at bay, and he didn't attack anybody. You know? Unlike Crimea. Boy, are you rewriting history? No, I'm giving you the truth about the history. Who Have another never drink. respected Trump. He treated Trump like a little baby. I, he just I, called Putin well, a genius. It was, he didn't attack Ukraine when Trump was president. He said something. He, he said something. Didn't he say, when, uh, hold on a second. Didn't, didn't Putin say something recently about Trump that he was in my pocket or something? Yes. Yes, and yeah. I was running, well, I was I was r operating him like a puppet, <laughs> something to that extent. Yeah. 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 Don't you see that they're did, trying did to you just use hear that, Phil? What did I just say, Phil? Uh, you said that Putin said that he had Trump in his pocket. But what tr what Putin is trying to do at this point is is divide our country even more so than the Democrats have. You okay. know, so. so, so, so you know, you got 66 million people that voted for Donald Trump and probably still support him today. Okay. And if he can put a, div a division between those, the Republicans and the Democrats or the Trump supporters and the non-Trump supporters. We're not talking about that. We're talking well, about that. I've heard, what Putin I've heard trying that to do. Uh, so, Putin so, divided our country through Trump. Right. Two, yeah. weeks, two weeks ago, divided week by Obama. Ago, Trump said on national news, that he thinks Putin's doing a good job and whatever he does in Ukraine is okay. So they asked Putin, the media asked Putin, what do you think of Donald Trump backing you like that? He says, I use Donald Trump like I use all American presidents. Now that he's no longer president, he's worthless. Yep. That's yeah, that is that is exactly the quote I heard too. Yep, that's it. And but but of course Phil says it's but, taken but out of context. It, but if it comes from Vladimir Putin, it must be true, right? It must be true. Well, he's speaking his Helsinki. opinion on something. How did Trump look standing next to Putin in Helsinki? He kept the Putin from attacking the rest of the world. Oh. Trump, Trump's negotiations were effective. Obama lost Crimea to, uh, to, the, to the Russians. And now Ukraine is being devastated. Phil, by you're the saying he, you're, you're saying we lost it. The fact is, we couldn't do anything about Crimea for the same reason we can't do anything about Ukraine. If well, Ukraine had had a chance to join NATO, we would have been able to go in there and do something. If they've been allowed to, uh, uh, right now they're asking to be a, made part of the European Union. They've just well, signed I think a that thing. the reason that they couldn't join NATO was that NATO thought that they were corrupt. No. And up until uh, recently, they were. Well, now they've got a, a very non-corrupt government. Well, uh, if they have a government at all at the moment. Well, they have a government. Apparently, you know, I mean, it's amazing. You would have thought with the kind of manpower and, and military might that uh, he had, uh, that Putin could have taken this country in three, four days. P yeah. Tops. He and thought he and he's not—he's not even close. He's no, he not even he close. Gonna, he, his his plan. He thought he was going to take it uh, almost instantly. He, you know, uh, the Sun Tzu art of war. What he was doing was Putin was doing was classic mm -hmm. uh, moves where he was uh, putting the troops and he had uh, uh, over overwhelming mm -hmm. force. And you would think that a country with res less resolve would have just surrendered. But uh, these people are standing up, and they got a leader that is uh, strong and and uh, and showing a true leadership. Well, that's why I believe that the next president of the United States should be a comedian, and let's vote for Jerry Seinfeld. How many of you? Uh... <laughs> no, no. Hey, you know that you know all the, right. the, oh, the president oh, oh, oh. of Ukraine was um, 
He was before he became president. He was on a comedy where he played yeah, the president. Yeah. No, that's Ukraine. going to be. They're running that starting this weekend. The series. There are three seasons of it. Is that the West? <laughs> they're running it in England, and they and they think that somebody here will pick it up as well. Yeah, wasn't wasn't that show called The West Wing? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Uh, but this His thing was called, was called uh, 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 something about to serve you or something like that. It has the name serve in it. Oh, are you being served? No, no. That's one of my favorite shows. It's another I show altogether. Show. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it, uh, it's going to be are on you B- free? It's going to be on the BBC starting uh, this weekend. And yeah. I, I know a way to download it, so I'm going to. Uh, Ray's t- favorite show is, is my favorite. Uh, are you being served? I are love you? it when the guy says, are you free? Well, yes, I'm free. <laughs> I love, are you being yes. served? I love Faulty Towers. By the way, we've been joined by Jack Bishop, who now probably has good internet service because yeah. he's got two different internet companies serving him. Yep. You know. I can tell the difference since I switched to the new company. It's amazing. Tell, what did you go to? Last night, too. I, I went to um, Spectrum. I went from Frontier to... Uh, well, really there we good. go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was awesome. That's, that's, like, that's like that's like the guy, the, like the guy uh, who said, "I just bought the world's greatest hearing aid," and the other guy says, "What kind is it?" And he says, three o'clock." Oh, that's cool. <laughs> well, that big was my internet just said you're unstable. Well, I've been unstable for years, as you guys. Come in, come in. I can't hear you. Oh. Anyway, oh. anyway, what were you going to say? Uh, 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 Jack. I want to know why is Phil Meyer rewriting recent American history? Yeah. I would rewrite ancient American history too if you'd let me. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, uh, here's what I mean. You talked about that the United States became divided during the Obama administration, did you not? Much more divided than it ever was. How much more? Paul, oh, you're cool. I would say this much. All right, but I mean, but give me some examples of how much more. This man. All right. Yeah. Okay, this much. Uh, I'll give you some examples. Uh, now, remember, well, I'm not a, I was Obama, never Obama, I was Obama, Obama funded, Obama. you know, what happens to a group of people when you give them stuff like food stamps and, and, and so forth, instead of giving them jobs <laughs> and, and so forth, you make them dependent on government. Oh, government. Yeah, okay. the corporations, Annie. Wait a minute. Uh, wait, there was food stamps and uh, and all that before Obama. I think yeah. I need yes, to, I think they, I need they, to buy a gun increased. so I can kill myself in circumstances they, they, like they this. They increased uh, uh, tenfold. Oh, that's uh, a lie. Really? But where did you hear tenfold? that lie, Phil? Tell me where, where did you I hear a lie. lie. Look, uh, if you're going to ask me uh, to uh, verify have my, what you like say of Obama, a, of Obama uh, blunders uh, right. at my All fingertips, right. you're okay. going to have to wait. Maybe right. I need to go on your show with the encyclopedia of Obama. Please, I challenge you to do that. Be a man and come forth. All right. Well, Let's I got to look up. like we're supposed to. Okay. These are facts that were uh, that were well known. Uh, several years ago during Obama's administration. These are facts that were brought up by Trump. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, that makes them Oh, that's uh, an empirical... Well, wait a minute, excuse me, Phil, lie. I give up. Well, You're going to an empirical source. I'm they sorry I give Trump, up. They make them facts to 66 Trump, million people great. in you this know, country. What did Lincoln Trump say about that? You can fool some of the people all of the time? I think those yeah. are Republican yeah. voters. No, they all said right. you can fool some of the people some of the time, but not all of the people all of the time, but if you can do it just once, you can get elected. Amen. Yeah. All right. Or well, as my I'm, dad said after a poker game, you can fool some of the people at the poker table all of the time. That's damn good enough. Let's grab the money and get out of here. Yeah. All right. Uh, this... Yeah, I'm. I'm going to give you what you've all been asking for. This is Tony. By the way, this is classic Phil. We're running tonight. That's right. Tony. Tony lost a package today. Oh yeah, I got it back. You want to hear this? Tony. Tony's mail was pilfered today. Yeah. And and he's pissed. No, you know what happened? I come back from the post office, right, Alex? And the old man across the street says, "Oh, Anthony's his buddy says." Did you get a package today? He goes, I said, no, I didn't get nothing. I, I, he goes, there was something left on the side of my house. So I went across the street, and my brother ordered a- What is uh, this, show and tell? I yes, love my brother ordered an ice machine. 
to fix the part and the refrigerator. So they took, I went to ring.com. I saw the son of a bitch take the box at 1120, stick it in the bag. He ripped it open, didn't want it, and went and left the, left the thing right by the guy's house across the street. So the guy stole it and then didn't want it and left it across the street. Nobody wants Tony's stuff. Well, they didn't want my ice machine. But they took my neighbor's pants that came from Amazon. Is that the ice machine that goes in the refrigerator? Yeah, it goes yeah. in here. And I had here. one break on me, and then I bought that. I didn't put it in yet. See, yeah. yeah, I know. Well, I if anyone's in interested, I have the fact check numbers of at the end of Obama administration. If we'd actually like to hear the real like numbers. Yeah, yeah. Where did you get them? Oh, no, I want to ask Alex if that's okay, not you, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if, fact, if Phil will I'm shut up by fact, while you're saying them. <laughs> Factcheck.org. Factcheck.org. I usually go. Okay. I always, that's where I always go for this stuff. That's him, right? I don't know. Is that all right? What? Yeah. what? Okay. You Some of the start. Obama numbers. Oh, yeah. What? The economy gained a net 11.6 million jobs. The unemployment rate <coughs> dropped to below the historical norm. Average weekly earnings for all workers were up 4.2% after inflation. The gain was 3.7% per just production and non-supervisory employees. After tax, corporate profits also set records as did stock prices. The S&P 500 index rose 166%. The number of people lacking health insurance dropped by 15 million. Premiums rose, but more slowly than before. The federal debt owed to the public rose 128%. Deficits were rising as Obama departed. Home prices rose 20%, but the home ownership rate hit the lowest point in a half century. Illegal immigration declined. The Border Patrol caught 35% fewer people trying to get into the U.S. from Mexico. Wind and solar power increased 369%. Mm -hmm. okay. Coal production declined 30 All right, there you go. Yeah. Just what about things. food There's stamps? How <laughs> much, How much? what kind of increase was there in food stamps? Oh, my God. So, so you think, oh, say, so now I need to look up food stamps, and you're saying that that's more important than everything I just read. What, and I also read negative things. I also read negative things. That, 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 yeah, you did, but we weren't talking about those things. Well, we were talking uh, how, about. Uh, food wait, 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 wait a minute. Answer me this question. Food stamps. A ask me hmm? this. Wow. Answer me this question. Uh, 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 how much of a decline was there in green stamps during that? <laughs> big, time? big decline. <laughs> you know. Uh, my mother used to get those books full of the, uh, the mm. stamps and then get toasters and stuff like that. You go to the S and H green. Yeah, stamps yeah but, got a book for but, but she got glue got poisoning you. before she could get down to get them redeemed. Here we go. In 2014, President Obama signs an 8.7 billion food stamp cut into law. Cut? Yeah, cut. Nah, he seven food I'm reading There's it. Right more here. people. More people on food stamps. On Friday, President Obama added a signature to legislation that will cut $8.7 in food stamp benefits over the next 10 years. And this was written, that was done in 2014. So, Phil, everybody drink, by the way. No, no, no. no. Well, I'm reading it. I'll, I'll find it. You don't understand that. Yeah, but no the thing Trump is, fact. Phil, I read some of the stuff what, that wait you minute, were saying. On, it's hold, all on like the Washington Post and all these yeah. BS rags. Wait a minute, Kevin says we can't drink, not. Kevin? No, Ray, you don't understand. That's not a Trump fact. Oh, <laughs> I, I don't want to argue about it. All right, uh, I'll I'll see what I can find. But look, why don't we just admit that Lincoln was wrong? That Lincoln was wrong, and we should have never ever put the union back together. We should have gone our merry damn separate ways. I oh, I agree with you on that one. I've often said that. You know, they want to secede from the union. Bye bye. Let Don't know. let the door hit you on the on the way out. Except you, know. you guys are in Texas, so we might not ever see you again. No, no, <laughs> I'd have never left California. Well, it's Texas, the food I, came wait a minute, Texas was on the cusp, wasn't it? In other words, uh, some places there, there was slavery and other parts no, there were. No, 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 no. no. Tennessee was like that. Yeah. Okay, but but Texas was a slave state. Yes, sir. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Part and of the Confederacy came again. I think that was part of the agreement to allow Texas into the Union, as it had to be a slave state in 1845. Oh, wow. You must feel proud believe, living in Texas then, I wasn't knowing elected. that. And if you don't believe me, just ask my great-great-great-grandfather, who we're still trying to find his uh, bill of sale. Yeah. Wow. Could you imagine, like, having that on Ancestry? <laughs> 
Ancestry.com <laughs> bills of sale of your of your ancestors. They're there, Ray. They are Holy there. crap. They are they there. Cool. They are there, you say, Charlie? Yeah, go back far enough. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Yes, hey, what yes, white guy, Trump, what do you want? Trump says forty three million Americans on food stamps. Politifact. Uh, claimed by Donald Trump, fact check says true. Claimed by yeah, Donald Trump. Yeah, but I spent it. That's decreased from before. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Obama signed Obama it. state officials swelled the food stamp rolls. This is uh, 2018. It says uh, enrollment and food stamp program ballooned during President Barack Obama's eight years in the Oval Office and uh, the hemorrhaging economy. Uh, let me hemorrhaging that. economy? Where Wait were your a minute. Stocks? So what I yeah. just read, where is that from? So you're saying what I just read? Uh, is this is it? from uh, House Committee on Agriculture. House Committee no, on Agriculture. You Republicans never want to believe anything Here, else. Let me explain to you. Can, I, can I just explain something? And keep quiet, Phil. Yeah, okay. Let me explain something about Phil. Phil, when he looks for something, to agree with what he believes, looks up the term like, for instance, food stamp increased usage. And then whatever comes up, he doesn't read the whole thing. He just starts reading it. And he doesn't get it straight because he keeps fumfering all over the copy on what it says and doesn't exactly understand what it says. But the headline agreed with him. Am I right, Phil? No, this is, this, this, this is <laughs> the participation is the highest level in history. More than 47.6 million people are on food stamps. Everybody should stamps. be on food stamps. I'm going to be on food stamps soon the way things are going, so yeah, why but not? I think that people should be, uh, the economy should be strong where they can get jobs and they can earn a living and be you know, proud of what they I mean, do. Marjorie's not, cutting, Marjorie, Marjorie's well, cutting, remember. Marjorie's cutting back on her job. And uh, we're going to be having a lot less income coming into this household. And uh, we should apply for food stamps. Why not? Get roommates. You know? <laughs> Get roommates. Phil, do you not remember that as Obama came into office, what was happening? Yes. The economy was in terrible shape uh, yeah, because of the really, housing bubble. There was a recession. you realize how close we were not to a recession, but to an actual depression? Yes. He missed that by about five days, according to some economists. That's true. The economy and was... And who, sa- who saved us? Who got us into that and who saved us from it? Bush. Uh, Bush, Bush got, got us Bush into was... it. Obama Save. saved us from it. No, but Bush came up with the $1.4 trillion uh, uh, bailout. And seven hundred million was uh, distributed by Bush, and the other seven hundred million was distributed by Obama. And, uh, and it and saved the American automobile industry and saved a lot, saved millions of Americans. He was a good president, Obama. Well, at that time, uh, Bush had already put into play uh, all of the uh, these kinds of programs. What uh, the cash for clunkers. <laughs> didn't save the uh, American economy. But Cars for Kids did. Yeah. <laughs> well, one, eight, seven, seven. Don't, don't, don't start with that. No. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Phil. Jack likes Cars for Clunkers. That's right. I got a bunch of them. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know. I haven't owned a car in, God, 18 years, something like that. Amazing amount of time. Anyway, listen. <laughs> No, actually, I haven't owned a car in, yeah, about 18 years. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the wheels on the bus go, go round, round and round. round. Well, anyway, thank you very much, Phil, for having joined us tonight <coughs> and st- stick, stuck around so that you could el- el- elucidate. Hummel, hummel these Democrats. Yes, right. Uh, thank well, you, Alan, worry, for being back. Be- we'll see you at the polls. For being yeah. here. Uh, thank you. Oh, bye. I have to say goodbye to Jack because he's got to go and do oh, a show. Yeah, my, yeah, my Lord. It's go. that time again. Yeah. Okay. See, see you at the top of the hour. Bye bye. Uh, uh, Bri- Brian, thank you so much for being here. Uh, I thank Alan. Uh, thanks to Charlie. Thanks to Steve. We appreciate you being here, Steve. Uh, Tony, uh, thank you very much for, for calling and, and not sending me any messages. And uh, uh, yes, and thanks to uh, Kevin for being here. Uh, and uh, 
He's uh, terrific. And you can also find Kevin Stopper on uh, YouTube as well with a lot of videos of uh, some local student orchestras, which I yeah. think I like plugging because yeah, yeah. it's a pretty good site. Oh, good night, Adrian. Wave mm -hmm. goodbye to me. Yeah, and a goodbye to Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you to Ray, and of course, uh, we we haven't lost we haven't lost Jack yet. How's he going to do a show if I sign off? He thinks he's on his show. Jack has that deer in the headlights. Look. <laughs> well, okay, I'll have every one of you. There he goes. Where is that internet? Wave, wave goodbye, and I'll wave goodbye back at you. Okay, bye bye, everybody. Thank you so much for having been with me this evening. Another fun evening of uh, grins and japes and everything else. Hey, listen, uh, Jack Bishop is next with The Intersection. He'll be taking your calls on Skype at GabNet Live. Uh, we'll be back again tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. And also, please get vaccinated, get the booster. If you don't, wear the mask. And if you don't wear the mask, Stay the fuck away from me. I'll see you again tomorrow night. Bye-bye, everybody.